Hi guys, so in this video I wanted to talk about pet gear and for that let me first inspect my friend ASM since he has all three sets. Um, we'll keep telepath set for, for the last because <laughs> I don't like that set anyhow. I don't like that set anyhow. So the first set is loyalty and with loyalty as you can see at plus 6 you can have a 250 stat bonus and once you have the set to plus 6 you can have this stat as a passive so regardless of you using the pet now or not you will still get these 250 points and this 250 points or stats will go to the highest stat that you have in my case it will go to charge because i have the highest charge and basically that's 250 free stats the second set that we want to talk about is the devotion set and I don't have a devotion set but sometimes I think I wish that I had one because I think it's a very nice uh, set to have so if you have one I would say keep it and what it does it just gives you a shield once your HP goes below 45% and the shield depends on the pet attack so I would put it on the highest pet uh, pet attack that I have uh, in his case he put it on the dragon and it's 1500% one, of the pet's attack and the shield lasts for 10 seconds which is longer than enough on top of that it gives you a 15% damage reduction and 10% lifesteal I'm not really bothered with the 10% lifesteal but the 15% damage reduction is massive um, so yeah that's a devotion set The third set, which is the Telepath Blade, it gives you 30% of the pit attack as attack for 3 seconds. And for me, 3 seconds is a bit too low. It's not enough time, you know? And the cooldown is 15 seconds. And once you get it to plus 6, you can get this buff as soon as you use the pet skill and in most in most pvp situations you won't be able to utilize the three seconds very well because the enemy can roll escape whenever you use the pet skill uh, some skills take too long to charge up and i feel like it's a waste wasted skill at least on the pet gear yeah so let's talk pet gear um Obviously you have different colors on each set You have the red one which you want to try and get you have the yellow ones and you have the purple ones um, I'm not sure if there is a blue set honestly. I forgot. It's been too long so So I have some Yellow ones here and the difference
and in every pet gear you should aim for something and in slot 1 and 2 you should aim for character attack and in slot 3 you should aim for either character crit resist or character crit another thing that I wanted to talk about is the lightning now I have a frost stone which I will get to in a second but what is the lightning stone and basically lightning stones are something you can attach your attach it to your pet gear you can craft one with 10 stones which is very expensive to be honest because each one goes around 9 mil so one stone will cost you 90 mil around so what it does is this adds up 30% of the basic stats to the um, pet gear and uh, it can add up some other skills to the pet basically for me um, I only I don't really care about the lightning stone to be honest what I care about is the frost stone and uh, what is a frost stone? A frost stone is something that you can attach to your um, lightning stone. And you can see it. You can get it first by donating enough points here in the guild supplies. And then if you go to redeem, you can buy these frost stones. And once you buy 10 of them, which is super expensive, you can attach it to your pet gear and once you have three pet uh, once you have three um, what do you call it frost stones using the pet skill on an enemy enemy will freeze their pets for a couple of seconds and they won't be able to use their pets and that's a huge bonus in PvP so here you can see uh, the frost stone So I don't really need three sets, I only have it on two because fairy dragon skill two is more than enough and I, I'm not sure if the, the, the frost uh, set will activate on the dragon because the dragon skill is not really of an attack of type, attacking type, it will just transfer me into a dragon so I'm not sure if I have to be close to them or not. For me it's just not worth infusing it to the dragon. Um, you can forge pet gear slot one two three uh, using pet gear fragments and once you hit 800 points here you will get the red star and in every pet gear you should aim for something and in slot one and two you should aim for character attack and in slot 3 you should aim for either character crit resist or character crit uh, depending if you're going attacking or defending so all of these should have all, all of the slot 3 should have character crit or character crit resist now another point that I want to point out for you is for example in airy pads flame needs INT and Vitality or let's say gain it needs STR and Vitality and what you need to aim for is having either Vitality see all of them have Vitality Aptitude or Strength Aptitude on it and what that does is not really important not that much but if you if you have a lot of sets and different sets give you different Aptitude, it's better to put um, respectfully every aptitude to the monster that you want or to the pet that you want. So if I need this TR on Gale to increase the physical attack, then I'm going to try to put the ones that I have on it. And the INT on INT, the diff on diff, like for example, this pet has vitality and death defense. 
Uh, some of them don't have anything, but if you can see here, Vitality gives you HP, Defense gives you Character Damage Reflect, so I tried to maximize on this. And these small adjustments, um, you'll notice more in my guide videos, but these small adjustments, just moving around things, will actually help you. Uh, because it adds up eventually, and if you are a high PvP player, then every stat counts. Every second counts, and every stat counts, so... I hope this video covered everything as far as I know. Um, I hope I didn't miss anything, but if I did, let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching this video.